Hello wonderful person, this is Anton and in this video we're going to be talking about a possible solution to an old mystery. The mystery which relates to the potential formation of really massive galaxies, really really huge galaxies early in the creation of the universe. We never really knew how it was possible and we also didn't really know where they came from. So let's talk a little bit more about this and welcome to What The Math. When it comes to discovering new galaxies and just kind of talking about the development of galaxies, we're still learning what's really happening out there. Now one of the biggest mysteries in the last few years was that when looking at some of the more distant galaxies out there, the scientists discovered something really unusual. And as you can see here, we're currently looking at some of the really, really distant, really ancient galaxies. So what the scientists discovered is that for some reason, even about a billion or maybe two billion years after the creation of the universe, after the so-called Big Bang, there already were a lot of really massive and also really well-developed galaxies with a lot of stars, as many stars as our own Milky Way. Now, according to the current timeline of the creation and the evolution of the universe, the first stars only started to appear about a few hundred million years after the creation of the universe. And this is when the galaxies started to evolve as well, suggesting that in the first billion years or so, the actual galaxies were very, very simple. That's of course our assumption today. But when we look at those ancient galaxies, once in a while we'll see a fully developed, really massive galaxy that already exists, about a billion or maybe two billion years after the creation of the universe. And the evolution and the existence of these galaxies is really difficult to explain. It's as if they suddenly appeared out of nowhere and appeared really, really quickly. And when we looked around the night skies, we couldn't really find any way for these galaxies to form. So this was always a mystery and we could never really explain it. And we've actually seen quite a few of these well-established ancient galaxies that existed about a billion to maybe two billion years after the creation of the universe. And so it was with this recent paper that we're actually kind of now able to explain how all of this may have happened. The paper that you can find in the description below talks about a discovery of what appears to be the signs of a very massive galaxy similar to the Milky Way in size being formed approximately 12 and a half billion years ago. That's about just over a billion years after the creation of the universe. But what's interesting is that we're not really seeing the galaxy itself. As a matter of fact, what we're seeing is more or less this. We're basically just looking at gas. But today we have telescopes that can actually see through gas and even see what happens behind this gas. And so by using the very powerful ALMA telescope and by focusing on just a specific part of the sky and also by using a very specific frequency, the scientists were able to pierce through this gas and see behind it. Now, first of all, cosmic dust is usually a bit of a problem when it comes to looking at distant objects. For example, one of the reasons why it's so difficult for us to see the center of our own galaxy or to actually see behind the center of our galaxy and thus investigate the dark side of our galaxy is because the dust is actually hiding it. So here, in the visible light, this is what the Milky Way center looks like. But if we were to look at this in other frequencies, like for example the infrared, we would start seeing different things. And once you get to the actual radio frequencies, you'll start noticing things that didn't really exist there before. Because for the most part, radio waves can easily go through the space dust and thus allow us to see what's hiding behind this gas. And as you can see here from the radio telescope uh, known as GLEAM, which is in Australia, there are a few things um, in the middle of our own Milky Way that we now can see that were not visible to us before. So by using a similar principle and by using radio frequencies, we can then look into the distant parts of our galaxy and see behind this ancient gas as well. And so by doing this, the scientists behind this paper discovered this unusual eerie glow which resembled almost like a ghost-like formation in the middle of empty space. This was a very massive and very powerful event that was hidden by a lot of dust. And Having run a thorough analysis on what they were looking at, the scientists behind this paper realized that this was an extremely massive and an extremely powerful galaxy that's being created, but is also hidden by the dust, so we don't actually see it. 
In other words, a very powerful event was taking place, a lot and a lot of new stars are being generated, possibly hundreds of times faster than here in the Milky Way, and all of this is happening hidden behind this really large primordial dust that was still there in the early universe. And according to the scientists behind this paper, when they saw that this galaxy was actually invisible at any other wavelengths, except for that one wavelength they looked at, they got really, really excited. It really meant that this was probably a really faraway galaxy being formed, but is just hidden behind this cloud. And the glow that they were observing was formed by the formation of millions and millions and billions and trillions of stars that were forming right there at that moment. In other words, what this really kind of explains to us is that these ancient massive galaxies were probably formed behind this dust cloud and eventually absorbed all of this dust into themselves and then became visible to us. In other words, even though we might only see something like this if we were to look at it in a powerful telescope, behind all of this dust we would probably discover something similar to this. A very very powerful starburst galaxy that's creating a huge amount of stars, releasing a lot of energy, but is basically surrounded by an impenetrable layer of dust. And because the scientists behind this paper have only taken a look at roughly around one hundredth of the size of the full moon in the night skies, in other words imagine the night sky piece that's about this big, and in that tiny piece they discovered at least one hidden galaxy. It suggests to us that in the entirety of the night sky we'll be able to discover a lot more of these hidden giants, thus explaining where all of these mysterious ancient massive galaxies came from. Which of course means that they're there, we just can't really see them. They're all just hidden by this dust all over the universe. And because of the technique used in this paper, I'm sure in some of the future papers we'll be able to discover even more amazing things that we didn't really know possible. This discovery is definitely something that's going to transform the way that we look at the rest of the universe, especially the universe after only about a billion years of existence. But anyway, once we learn more about this ancient universe and once we solve more mysteries of the universe, I'll make sure and come back to talk about them in some of the future videos. For now, that's all I wanted to mention. Subscribe if you still haven't, share this with someone who loves learning about space and sciences, and come back tomorrow to learn something else. Maybe even consider supporting this channel on Patreon, because it actually helps me quite a lot. I'll see you tomorrow, space out, and as always, bye bye.